I'm going to talk a little bit about Fenwick and West. Fenwick and West is a law firm. They have offices everywhere. They have a specialty practice that focuses on early stage VC backed companies. They've done about 470 of them. Uh, one of their 470 was my company. So uh, a story I like to tell is I arrived in Silicon Valley and I had a law firm that was saying, we're going to get you lots of introductions. I mean, I, I had just moved there from London. And so I thought, I know a lot of people in NorCal. I grew up there, but it sure would be useful to have some intros. And they didn't do a WYSIWYG. You know WYSIWYG? You remember sure. WYSIWYG? What, what, you, what see you see is what, what you get. get. Uh, they brought in the partners, and then the partners seemed to disappear. And the guy who was doing my stuff was a junior analyst. Uh, so I became very angry, and I switched uh, firms midway through uh, restructuring of our company, and then ultimately when we sold our company. Um, I had been at an entrepreneurship event, and the speaker at the event was a guy named Sam Angus from Fenwick & West. And instead of getting up and giving the typical, I'm a lawyer and here's what I do and whatever, he just said, look, um, we work with a lot of startups. We wanted to fund this so that we could be here with you and spend time with you tonight, have fun or whatever, something really subtle like that. So it stuck with me, Fenwick and West. And um, I went around and asked a bunch of people what they thought of the firm and it got great uh, marks. And so I hired him and we had a very successful period of time with them. Um, I often mention Sam because he was so good to me at the time. I was selling my company and he works with, I think it's public, I hope it's public, that he works with people like Airbed and Breakfast, which has become a very hot company. He works with a company in LA called DeviantArt. Um, so he's really at the cutting edge of early stage businesses. Um, and I know they have a partner there named Ted Wang, who I've mentioned on the show before, only because when I ask about lawyers and I ask other entrepreneurs, Ted Wang, he, he must work for 100 companies because everyone <laughs> seems to mention him. Um, well, well, the good yeah. guys, the, the good firms like Fenwick and West, yeah. if you go to them as a young entrepreneur and say, yeah. work with me, yeah. the good ones will invest that time even before you're paying them big bills. Right. You know, uh, because they know, hey, this guy has it. And, and that's that's what I did, um, you know. With, with I, I haven't worked with Fenwick yep. and West, but people think, oh, it's a lawyer, it's an expensive, and it yeah. can be expensive. Yeah. But a lot of times, these guys who are catering to startups will understand. Oh, you're in the early phases. I'll give you some advice. Maybe I'll do some really lightweight work for yeah. you, and that can really help you avoid some landmines like you know unvested you know uh, stock plans and things like yeah. that. I think the other thing that's interesting that a lot of entrepreneurs don't realize is. Every venture capitalist has to deal with all the lawyers because every deal we fund has lawyers on it. And we use lawyers on every deal. So we know these guys. I mean, we spend time with them. And the longer you've been a VC, the better you know them. And there's a really good side to that, which is we know who we like. And when they send a deal to us, it kind of rises above the noise as long as it's a reputable uh, fund. So I often tell people, work with a local firm. I mean, it can be a, a, a national firm like o Fenwick & West. but Choose one that has operations where you are because they'll know the local ecosystem. So thank you to Fenwick and West.